Joe Biden apparently doesn't know where he is or who he is again. Maybe the loss of his mental faculties is accelerating? Biden recently decided it'd be a great idea to undercut the real administration by having shadow briefings, which are basically political ads that run the risk of misleading people and exacerbating the current pandemic. In the midst of an actual crisis, where people need a single, knowledgeable source of information, the former VP has decided to pretend he's president. It should be noted that Ebola was a far less transmittable disease than Wuhan virus. The comparison itself or idea that Ron Klain holds some special knowledge here is silly. What we are dealing with now is simply magnitudes less controllable than anything the Obama administration dealt with. Even still, over 12,000 people died under Biden's watch from H1N1, so perhaps he should sit this one out? But the issue here isn't just that it's overly politicized nonsense. It's that doing this undercuts the White House, which is the entity with the access to the proper information needed to make calls like Biden is attempting to make in this video. Given our overly politicized position, where half the country will believe just about anything about the other side, it's dangerous to have some half senile presidential candidate trying to frame and influence the current situation. Let's also note how ridiculously hypocritical this is. That's correct. If Mitt Romney, or more recently, Donald Trump, had attempted to do something like this, they would roundly criticized as endangering lives for political gain. But Joe Biden does it, and our news agency not only c o v e r it glowingly, some are even promoting the videos directly. This needs to stop. This isn't a time for political garbage that causes confusion and attempts to capitalize on a situation that was simply unavoidable. Had Biden gotten his way, we wouldn't have closed travel from China in January and we'd be much, much worse off than we are now. There's also the reality that he has long been an apologist for communist China. If there's anyone on the planet who should go away and be quiet for a while, it's Joe Biden.